Hey what's up guys, in today's video I am going to show how to create Google Calendar events in PHP. And guys before starting please subscribe my channel. And in this playlist you can get more programming videos of Google API integrations. So let's start. So guys first of all you need to go to Google console. Then you have to select a new project. Click on new project. And then you have to mention the name of the project. Create this one. You need to click on API and services and then you need to go to library and you have to enable Google Calendar API for this project. Search for Google Calendar. As you can see you need to enable this one. Click on enable it. So guys as you can see it is enabled and then you need to go to credentials and you need to create a service account. Click on this one and create a service account. Name of the service account, find gap, create and continue. Select a role of owner, continue and then you can skip this one, continue. So after you have successfully created service account, you need to edit this one and then you need to go to keys and you need to create a new one, create a new in JSON format, create. As you can see it is downloaded and then you need to rename it into credentials.json file, open it. Copy the code from the JSON file we just downloaded and you need to paste into your credentials.json file or you can also rename it. Then you need to upload into your server. For example, I am going to work on my subdomain and I have already uploaded my plugin. Paste in there. Then you need to save it. Go back to your main plugin. And after that, you need to copy the email from there. And then you need to go to your calendar. Click on this one. Because I am going to use this calendar. Settings and sharing. You need to add a people. And you need to mention the email. And share it with the email. And after that, you need to select this option. Make changes and manage sharing. You can rename the calendar and you can also set the time zone and after that you need to copy the id of this calendar and go back to your code. So as you can see we need to mention the id there. Save it and after that this is my custom plugin on my wb footer hook. As you can see this is the function and in this function I have enqueued credentials.json file which I already uploaded and I also enqueued my vendor folder which I have created from this command. As you can see you can create this vendor folder in composer by using this command. So I already created and uploaded also and after that you need to call the default functions wp auth config scopes assess type, assess token and then you need to make an array for the calendar and in this array first of all I have a title of the event, location of the event, description of the event and then I have a start and end time. There are two types of calendar, first one is for all day and second one is for specific hours. So this date time is for specific hours. And if you need to create for the full day, then you just need to mention the date like this way and your ending date. And you need to remove the time also from there, also from there. So this is for the specific date. And for now, I am going to create for the specific hours. Then you need to mention the time zone also like this way. And then we have recurrence this we are going to attend by email, reminders and default things. Now I am going to copy this code and upload into my server. Save it. And for the footer hook I need to refresh my front end. So I am going to go back to my calendar. So as you can see guys we have successfully created calendar events. It is duplicated because I do not add any check of duplication. Edit this one. So as you can see event title, event location, event description there. 
and event start date and time and and date and time and there i have a time zone of the event so as you can see we have successfully created an event and by this following ways you can create event easily first of all we need to create a project then we need to enable google calendar api and then we need to create service count and the key for the service count then we need to create a calendar and we have to share it with the email in credentials.json file and you need to copy the id of the calendar then you need to mention the id of the calendar in your code and then you can use this code to create events and i hope you must find this video useful and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon finally thanks for watching